Hi everyone, welcome to Sensu Singh. Today we're gonna start covering a few clone houses, not in a particular order, but uh, just how I got them and I've set them chronologically. And the first one that we're gonna, we're gonna start with is called Amaf Perfumes. Now this is a clone house from Bombay. Apart from doing clone perfumes, they also have their own private blends. And uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six fragrances to tell you about. So let's start with the bottle and presentation. Right, so I've been in touch with Amaf Perfumes for a while now and uh, I was offered a bottle for review. I bought one and they sent me another one uh, for reviewing purpose. That was very kind of them. So the first one I'm gonna tell you, uh, okay, I have six fragrances here. The first one is called Astral Cypress. Uh, this is a clone of Tom Ford's Italian Cypress. Soul Intense, this is a clone of the uh, older batches of Dior Homme series. Uh, this is the custom fragrance that I was uh, that I got done from them. So I, I always get a custom fragrance done from a clone house uh, whenever I get anything from them, and it is usually according to my specifications how I particularly want a fragrance. Uh, I have three samples here as well. Uh, these are two all uh, two ml samples, so they have three samples here. This one is called Oothgasm Om. The other is called uh, Frankincense Absolute. So this is labeled unisex. Uh, the third one that I have here is called Forest Santal, unisex, so Forest Santal or Forest Santal, whatever. Right, so the first one that we're going to start with is called Soul Intense. So let me show you the presentation. So this is a white cardboard box. Uh, I like the color of it. I like how it looks, but I don't like how it feels. That's okay. Uh, so inside it is a satin holder with the aluminium bottle uh, snugly fit into it. This is how it looks. Uh, so, soul intense. Soul intense. Uh, I got these fragrances a while ago, about a month or maybe a month, more than a month. I just did not uh, get time to review them, but I've been wearing them. And I sprayed this fragrance and it's like uh, about 12 inches away from my nose but I can still smell it very strongly. A very strong woody iris here which is which goes very close to the previous batches. So this is quite good. Uh, next is called uh, Astral Cypress. This bottle is almost gone. So same thing uh, again the satin holder and the aluminium bottle. The aluminium bottle, okay, I don't know how technical it is going to be, but I don't like the feel of it. I would prefer a glass bottle, bottle uh, above above uh, a aluminium bottle above an aluminium bottle any day. Right. This is marvelous. This is very close to the original. Oh, the performance of this one again, I'll tell you later, is again very good. Off the bat, very nice, very good. So that is Astral Cypress, very citrusy fresh green opening but the soul intense is very woody the iris is quite earthy here there is a combination of something like an orris root as well so this is quite nice the soul intense and that one next is called autograph om you see i'm i put a good dent in this bottle uh, since i've been testing it for a while and to be honest uh the day I got it and what it is after like uh, 45 days or so is quite different. This has macerated quite nicely. <laughs> Damn that spray. Oh yes, so this was a combination of iris and violet. Although the violet went a little overboard. But I think it has mellowed down over the period of time. The iris has started to show itself much more nicely. This is a woody, slightly spicy uh, fragrance. Hint of florals in there as well. So this was a very good uh, composition. I was not a fan of it when I got it, but uh, it is always better to give time to fragrances, let them grow on you, let them mature on themselves as well. So this has turned out to be something very nice, very pleasant. Kudos. Well done. So next I am going to check Forest Santal unisex perfume. So this is again one of their private blends. So this is sweet, this is slightly resinous. This reminds me of uh, Bakaharuj 540. 
Yes, it reminds me a lot of Bakaha Rouge 540. I remember testing it uh, the day I got it, the next day, very next day I tested this fragrance and it lasted for about 5 hours on my skin. So again that sweet, slightly woody, balsamic tone, a lot of sweet resin in here. So Forest Santal is good, no problems there. Next is Frankincense Absolute. Okay, for you oriental uh, lovers, oriental fragrance lovers, this is for you. This is very sweet, typically Indian fragrance. I am not a huge fan of it. Uh, this is not the kind of scent profile that I usually go for. See, the problem is that we as Indians have been growing in the smell of incense for since forever. Our, our, child, our childhoods. This is a, the fragrance from my childhoods. So that is one reason I, I don't particularly go for them now. But for someone, to be fair, who is looking for a proper Indian kind of a fragrance, this is the fragrance to consider. It is called Frankincense Absolute. It is a unisex fragrance. Yes, quite unisex in character. Uh, I see this uh, uh, to be very suitable in colder weather. Very strong. Yes, very strong. And very good as well. So last on our list here is Oodgasm. Oodgasm. Oud is a note I really enjoy, whether it's animalic, whether it's resinous, whether it is an agarwood woody kind of a note, I really enjoy the, the note. Uh, so Oud Gazan, I'm going to put it here, very nice, not a hard in your face Oud, this is a bit floral, this is slightly woody, no hint of spices, I do not get any, I don't get any spices here but the uh, uh, there is a very soft resinous touch from the oud. It is not a heavy oud fragrance. Very wearable. So again, a good fragrance. So uh, let's do a recap. So first was Soul Intense. This is Soul Intense. Uh, let me show you the sprayer of them as well. So the sprayer is quite decent. Has a good throw about 6 to 8 inches away from the body as well. Uh, I usually go for 10 12 inches so that I get a good spread of it. So that's that. So, Soul Intense is quite good. This is excellent. It has a good woody iris tone. I, I'm okay with it. Next, here I have is uh, Frankincense. Yes, again, a good one. Uh, next was the Autograph. Oh, the iris has started to go away a little and it is becoming more and more violet. Very nice. Very nice. And this one I'm a huge fan of, Astral Cypress. Oh, beautifully green, woody. Not citrus anymore, so it becomes a fougere kind of a fragrance, as the name suggests, Cypress. Excellent. And Astral it is. I don't care if it is Italian or not, but it's definitely Astral very out of this world beautiful and the last one here is uh, forest santa yes this is uh, this reminds me of pakha 540 so let me tell you the further uh, performance of these coming to the performance of these oh i cannot begin to explain how atomic they are Astral Cypress is a scent that I have worn in good hot temperatures. The problem with this scent is that I cannot get rid of it. I hope you get that sarcasm. Uh, this is so good. 8 hours on the skin projecting very nicely. First 4 to 5 hours almost a room filler kind of a projection. So Astral Cypress gets my okay. Sense with Singh approves for this one and this is remarkably good astral cypress was my favorite out of the lot i by weight of it if you can hear so there's not much left in it uh, so astral cypress is beautiful frankincense absolute lasted for about five hours on my skin and that spray uh, to be fair uh, was not a proper spray it was half a spray that I put on my wrist and it stayed on 5 hours, easily I could get it. Uh, beyond that, I had to really dig in, dig my nose into the skin like for six, after 6-7 six, hours to pick it up. 
but to be fair it was just half a spray not a proper spray just those initial ones which uh, with which i could get an initial uh, impression of the fragrance soul intense another one which would be on your skin for like 6 hours easily this is these are quite 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 good in terms of concentration i am not a fan of high concentration perfumes no uh, the reason for that is that the more i put uh, the more concentrated perfume i put on my skin the more it projects and it starts to intr- uh, intrude the space of others that i do not appreciate i like my scent to be just a foot or two away from my body not too much noticeable but not overpowering soul intense can do that it if you wear this scent you go a few sprays a few sprays extra it will cover the room it will kill the scent of the other person completely so soul intense has that proper dior home kind of a performance dna next is uh, autograph of good very good you can pick up the violet that violet note uh, a slight a slight bit of spice and wood in it as well and you can pick that note up 8 hours afterwards as well so these again very good performers they come at about um, around 15 1600 for a 100 ml uh, that is not a bad deal and they have a massive list to choose from uh these clone houses do this amazing thing where they have um, an almost infinite variety of perfumes to choose from some discontinued perfumes as well uh so again coming back to the performance the oudgasm one again 6 hours easily bit soapy nice not bad and the last one the bakaha rouge 540 dna is a bomb it will last on your skin it it travels away from you so this is again a very good scent uh, i am again thumbs up for forest santal as well so all in all these are brilliant performers i i i cannot uh, say no to them these these are very well done the only drawback was the presentation in my mind i like the box how it looks not how it feels uh this is the this is not that thick a cardboard but uh, that's okay uh because they are coming up not coming up they have already come up with glass bottles i was supposed to do this review with a glass bottle but uh, i did not get time to get it number 1 number 2 uh the del- the review was getting delayed i wanted to cover it up really quickly uh so I think that's about it from my side on Amaf perfumes. I will leave their link down below. Uh they are on Instagram as well. Uh I will ask him if it is okay to leave his phone number too. You can get yourself added in their broadcast list. They keep coming up with offers and uh, they have an offer going on till a good discount going on for about 20% discount going on till uh, 31st of December. So don't miss out on it. Contact them. Find yourself perfumes. Uh, if you think you are into green fragrances, Astral Cypress is something to go for. If you are a fan of the vintage, vintage uh, Dior Home DNA, don't miss this Iris Bomb. Uh, Oudgasm is something that I would recommend to people. Uh, Forest Santal. Nice. So another scent that I'm looking to buy from them is one of my favorite scents, but I like the clones of it better than the original one now, and that is called uh, ASQ's Safari Extreme. It's a brilliant oud, spicy vanilla oud. So that is an excellent scent that I want to get from them. Another one that is on my list from them is uh, Smoke Patchouli. Patchouli is something I really enjoy. It is a heavy green, earthy, leafy. note and uh, i like patchouli fragrances one patchouli happens to be one of my favorite patchouli fragrances of all time so i'm really looking to get these two fragrances in near future and if you are interested in getting stuff from them do not miss them uh, i will i'm saying again i leave the link in the description check them out contact them they are very responsive they are very uh, particular and uh, also very prompt so That's about it. Uh, do not forget to like and subscribe. Uh, this is Santh Swit Singh. I'll see you next time very soon.